Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are building a Milan inspired training camp. Most of the items that I'm using today can be found either in the current Star Path or in Scrooges. I am so excited about this build because I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from the movie but also put my own twist to it. So I will be designing on Eternity Isle and we will be building in the lagoon area and I thought that this would be such a great spot for this build. We have like this gorgeous waterfall in the background and I'm going to do some boat clutter over there. But I also really loved this circle dirt path that we see in the middle of the biome and I think that this would be such a great area to highlight and kind of use as the main training center of the camp. So I'm going to align my tropical planks which is a craftable in the DLC and kind of like frame this whole location in. Another thing that I really wanted to mention as we work on the layout of this build is I wanted to use the wooden arch that you see in the Milan realm. You can actually get this inside of Scrooges, but unfortunately I have not been very lucky and haven't gotten the item yet. So to substitute in until I get the item, I will be using the Blossom Arch from the Star Path. And I know that this isn't technically a training camp item, but since it's my own version from the movie and from the realm, I really wanted to use the arch in today's video because I think it just adds such a nice color to it. It matches with the magnolias we're also using and it's just my personal touch to this so of course it's optional if you would rather use the gate and if you have it I would recommend definitely using it but I thought that this was a really nice placeholder until I get the item. Anyways we're gonna work more on the layout and then we'll start placing our training camp tents and one of the tents that I do use in today's speed build is this really large tall one and this was also something that I found in Scrooges and the smaller one is from the star pass so we will be mixing both of these together. Now that I have most of the layout done, we're going to go in detail around the build with some trees and I'll be using a mixture of the bamboo and magnolias. Once I finish placing these and some additional items, then we'll go ahead and start figuring out our tent layout. But so far, I think our build is starting to come together and I really like that I was able to have two different ways to enter into the training camp too. I also was really excited to get this bridge in my screw shop and then I got really disappointed too because it cannot be placed in water. There's no way to walk onto it, but I still wanted to use this item in my build. So instead, I'm just gonna use it as a little minor detail by the water. I think that they should add a additional piece to go with this one maybe with like stairs on it that way we can walk onto the bridge and also exit it and I do hope to see maybe in a future patch us be able to place it into water too so I was kind of disappointed with this item but I do think that it looks really nice in this build so I'm excited that I was able to at least do something with it but now that I have most of my layout done we're gonna go ahead and start figuring out where we want all of our camp tents and something I wanted to mention with this item and not just like the tent items but with decorating in general especially when you're using multiple of a very similar type item. It's always good to kind of like off-center them and do different angles with them. Not only does this make your build feel a lot more realistic, but it just in general makes it more interesting to look at. So I definitely recommend always kind of doing unique placements with different types of items. Anyways, we're going to finish detailing this build and I'll see you near the end of this video for a final walkthrough and some overhead shots. But I hope that y'all are enjoying this build so far and it brings you some inspiration. Thank you. 
After all my final details, here's how my finished training camp turned out for today's speed build. I am so excited about it. I think that we really captured the vibe of the Milan movie and of course put our own twist to it too. Also in this footage, I wanted to show what it looks like without the dirt path underneath the tropical planks in case y'all want to skip the pathing. But I personally feel like the dirt path just adds a really nice detail to the build. It makes it feel honestly a little bit more finished. But before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Members, thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you again so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.